You got one already. What do you got? Spotted bass. All right, let me zoom in on him. We haven't even been here a minute yet, folks, and she already got a spotted bass. I'm zooming. Four, five, six. All right, zoomed six times. Little guy, but hey, the crankbaits are working. Good job. All right, first fish always on this beaver dam. I tell you, it never lets me down. He's not a bad guy, he's probably 19 or 20 inches. All right, like I said, if the quappy don't cooperate, the picker will usually will. It'll get better as it gets closer to the evening, about another two hours or so. I ain't gonna give up. bigger than I thought he might go 22 oh yeah I think so I'm gonna I may measure him it's not a bad pickerel oh I talk about barely having him hooked He is 21 inches. Not bad. We're going to let him go. All right. Boy, they are slick as snot, I tell you. Nice little pickerel there. All right. Let's put her back. See if we can get some largemouth or crappie now. I'm actually gonna stand out in this water, I think. Hubcap, he's a 12 inch crappie on the beaver dam again. No, he's about 11. It's not what I'm after, but it's a nice, nice crappie either way. It's good, get, I'm getting there. Got the pier and I kind of scared him for a little while. And I should be able to get some of these crappie off of here. Nice white crappie anyway, about 11 inches. I had the camera off because I was picking beggar lice off my shirt and I said what's the point I'm just gonna walk right through them again on the way out I got them all over my jeans so I might as well just wait till I get home all right I got something folks hopefully a crappie I don't know what I got here it's nice It's a large mouth, about a, about a pound, 12 inches maybe. Not a bad guy. That's three kinds. Let him go. Small largemouth bass, about a foot long. Right at three quarter of a pound, maybe a pound. That's three fish, three different kinds. Still early in the day, still got a few hours to really get into them. 
and I got him this time. It was that same fish. It was a largemouth. <laughs> I did the hula hoop hook again, like I did with the pickerel with the uh, little black. I hooked him in the mouth and in the tail. <laughs> oh boy. Little guy. Wrong kind I'm after, but it's a fish. Finally, my first one in like an hour. Real little guy. Just by the look of the lake, it looks like they are starting to feed again. That sun's getting further down the horizon. The sun ain't overhead anymore and it's cooling off. Oh yeah, another bass, darn. Thought it was a crappie at first. Real little guy, nine inches, eight maybe. Real little guy. <laughs> oh boy. I'm using a bomber model A again, chartreuse and white. Definitely in a negative mode today. This water's still pretty warm. Another little nine or 10 inch largemouth finally. Been about 20 minutes since my last one. It looks like the exact same fish as last time. Like I said, I keep getting the kinds I'm not after and not the ones that I'm actually after. Little guy, little fish nonetheless. Oh yeah, got something. Another bass. A little bigger, he's 11. It seems like the bass are biting more than anything. All right, another bass. Two in the last three or four minutes. I said we got about, now we got about 25 minutes before dark. Today I'm going to hit this creek in a few different spots on foot, not in the canoe, and uh, see what I catch. I came over here and looked a minute ago. This is a, a spot that's really hard to, to fish with, with carrying a lot of stuff, so I just brought the lure I have on my pole, and I'm carrying absolutely nothing else except the camera on my head the, because this hole is impossible to walk around, but it's a good deep be able to wade out in it. It starts about right there at the brush pile. I might be able to get around that fish down to about there if I can get on that other bank because this is the steep side. And uh, I seen a, about a four pound spotted bass right here when I walked up the first time. And that's really the only reason I'm trying it. Because I did see a big bass. And it's not easy to get down to. But once I do, I'll be all right. It's real hard. I had a bad accident happen to me before I left the house. I have a wooden porch that's kind of decrepit and we've been neglecting it to fix it. And uh, 
the board gave out on me and I fell completely through our porch because I bent down to get my fishing shoes. And uh, you talk about painful, folks. It hurts. So tomorrow I'm going to feel it. I am definitely going to be feeling it tomorrow. All right, let's see if I can get that bass. He's right here along this bank, in fact. And he was look. You can tell he was in a in a mood to be biting something because I spit down on the water and he he came up. Oh, I got him already! First cast. He's a monster. Oh my God, he's got me hung up. Oh no. I will go out and get him. It's a big bass. He's got me wrapped around something. If I got to go out and water over my head for this guy. Oh no. What? First cast I had something really big on here. Now it's hung up. I had that big bass. I don't know what happened. I was just fighting him a second ago. First cast, it's a real big bass. Now there's nothing on there. He got me hung up. I don't know if he's still on it or not. Oh man, I can't go out there either. I have to or I'm going to lose my lure. I don't feel him on there anymore though. It was big. It was about four pounds. Now I'm just going to scare the damn fish. Oh, she's got a big one, guys. Big bass. Take your time. He's big. Wear him out. Let him get tired. There's some big bass in here, I told you. Because these are real deep, cold holes. Man, he's three pounds. Okay, don't pull him. It's a nice bass. That's a large mouth. That's not a spotted bass. That's a real large mouth. <sighs> yeah, nice one, honey. That is a, that's a large mouth. Nice one. Yeah. Well, I missed mine, but she got, at least she got hers. We're going to put him back. Okay. I didn't bring the bucket down here. No. It's okay. There's some big fish in here. I'm telling you. That one I had was at least four pounds, but I think he was more like five. You got one? Yeah? Or no? You got one. Oh, you do. You got a nice one again. She's whipping me, folks, I guess. Just like last week. Two to nothing. Good job. That's another big one. That's a large. See, there's a lot of large mouse in here as opposed to spot. Oh my God, he's three, three and a half. Let me get him. Let him tire out. That's a big large mouth. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, I can just tell you by looking. He's about three and a half, four. He's three and a half pounds. <laughs> wow. Don't don't pull like that. I got it. That's a big large mouth. Oh my goodness. I guess she's wanting to go up and get the tape measure or scale. It's three pounds. You don't have to it's no that stuff's in the backpack. I can tell you it's only about three. It's about three pounds, eighteen inches. It's only about three pounds. He's not as big as I thought, but he's nice. That's a real large mouth, that's why. Here's one way you can tell a large mouth is this flat overlay. They have the overlay flap right here. Ooh, we need the pliers, don't we? Yeah, you need the pliers on that. Yeah, sure. like an idiot. Well, I got that one. Because yeah, I know. Pass, you pass again? I don't want to walk all the way to the car it's though. I'm easy. trying to avoid going to get them unless I have to. I know I didn't grab them. I wasn't thinking. <sighs> I 
really don't want to go all the way up that hill. I got it. It's not. Not going to hurt it. See? That's a nice bass. That's a fat large mouth right there. Great. Well, it looks You're like... You're not even pointing at me. It looks like four pound. <laughs> it's only about three. He's just got a... He's just real tall, stout. But it's... It's actually only about 17 inches. It's about right at three pounds. It looked four when he was reeling it in, but hey, that's still a nice bass. They're biting good today, and it's only it's supposed to be a poor day. God. According to the Almac, it's poor or fair, I think it would. Man. Awesome. Oh yeah, oh yeah, nice one, whatever this is, it's nice, it's big. It's a catfish and I hooked it on the side, in the middle. Look, I hooked him on the fin, that's why he felt so big. <laughs> I must have, he either tried to bite it or maybe I hit the bottom. It felt a lot bigger than what it was. <laughs> God, weird. I've never snagged a catfish. Not really, that I can remember anyway. Oh! Small. I think it's a tiny bass. Never know. It's a small mouth. All right. No, it's a spotted bass. A little spotted bass. They're biting good today. I think we might have picked the right day to come here once we get down there. We'll know where the crappie are down there. Big bass. Oh, he got off. It was about two and a half pounds. Oh, you got one? All right, folks, I just had about two and a half pounder get off. And then right after that, I looked over and she's got something on. So I'm gonna climb back over and I'm going over a really stupid place I shouldn't be. But I gotta wanna get this on. I want to get this on film, so what is it? Oh, a catfish? Yeah, sure enough, just like happened to me. Oh, it bit your crappie jig. Weird. You must have been bouncing the bottom then. That's a nice one. Boy, the fish are just biting excellent today. I just missed a two and a half pound bass. Yeah, he's got some really pretty spots. Yeah. That's a nice one. Well, if I can, I'm kind of lame in this hole. If you can. Boy, he's got some really pretty spots. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I don't know. Well, I want. <clears throat> oh. Now your hook's bent. I'll have to bend it back. There, I bent it back. I'm just going to try a few more minutes and then we'll 
go down to where we know we can walk and won't have this trouble and we'll have everything with us, including the bucket. All right, another bass, folks. Oh, and he got off again. What is the deal? That's two fish in a row. I've, I've missed four fish. Two in a row, and then the big four pounder. I'm not having the best of luck, and it ain't because the hooks are dull, because this is a brand new crankbait, so who knows? <sighs> One. Oh my gosh, first cast. Big bass. Spotted bass. Nice. Man, they are they are really biting good today, folks. We ain't got no crappie yet, but we're getting bass, catfish, and she caught a nice bluegill. That is a spot. We was getting large mouths. But hey, it's a sign they are biting. I think it's because there's a cold front coming through. It's one of the last warm days we're going to have, prob maybe, possibly. Could be something to do with it. They, the fish know it's getting ready to get cold. All right, folks, I just caught a nice hand-sized bluegill on a little two-inch pink and green electric chicken. Callan's grub. Not bad at all. I'm sitting here kind of vertical jig in this brush pile here in front of me. It's a real narrow part of the river. But they're in here right here because it's deep. And lots of rocks. Had a bite again already. Had another one. That's what was stealing my worm, folks, a little tiny sunfish. That's what was stole my whole worm and bit my tail off my lure. Hiding in this metal right here. Oh, it's a bass. This, yeah, little tiny large mouth on a pink and black Bobby Garland. Yeah, could be. Little guy, definitely a little guy. Oh, I was on accident. It's a huge bowfin, like 11 or 12 pounds. No, he's still on there. It is a humongous bowfin, folks. This sucker is about 11 or 12 pounds. Oh, he just broke my line. Guess what? Guess what? I just lost my fucking crankbait. I had the drag set. It's their teeth. There was nothing I could do. I had him that close. No, there went my crankbait. That was the biggest bowfin I've ever had. That was the biggest bowfin I've ever had. God, man. That thing was humongous. It was absolutely her humongous. Did you see it? 
Finally, folks, a crappie, yes. A little nice white crappie. I'm telling you, I wish I would've got up earlier and came a lot earlier this morning. He's about seven inches short, an inch short of a keeper. But crappie nonetheless, really disappointed right now. I just lost the biggest bowfin I've ever had in my life. And, uh, of course, he stole my Bomber Model A too with him. That's uh, two of those I've lost today. I only had an eight pound line. I had no chance with him, no chance at all, because their teeth are just absolutely fiery. Oh, sunfish. Hey, they're biting good, ain't they? Man, I'm telling you. Oh, man, I got a slabber. Oh, it's a big old crop. It's a big 13-inch crappie, folks. That's what I came after right here. Oh yeah, I changed my mind, he's about 12, it's a nice crappie nonetheless, and this one's a black, the last one was a white, this is exactly why I came, we got one good hour left, and they are just, it's real breezy out and cloudy, and it's mid-October, one of my favorite times of the year to fish, that's a nice crappie there, oh yeah, I ain't gonna measure it, but that's 12, he's 12 inches, it's nice. Wow, finally, I'm leaving this lure on, I guess. There's a brush pile out here that you can't really see that well, but it's kind of on the bottom and they're out in that. There we go. Just like last year. something it's a little bass about 11 inches I had him again it must be a small one no oh, he ain't that bad whoa a bass This one's a spot. Spotted bass. This one's about 11 inches again. Same as last time. All right. We need to get some more of them crappie. Folks, I am coming back tomorrow. I've had the absolute worst day, but they were biting the best I've ever seen this year so far, as far as autumn. And everything's just backfired as far as me losing stuff always doing something else besides fishing like tying a lure on or being hung up having to fix something it just seems like nothing has went my way but tomorrow i'm coming back with a vengeance i'm coming back with about six dozen minnows and a, just a bobber and a hook and i'm gonna uh, set a couple poles out in front of me with with minnows and see if i can do better i think i will because i won't be spooking them as much I won't be losing any lures, so that alone should make it a lot better than I did today. So hopefully they're still biting like this tomorrow. That's going to be the main thing. They could totally turn off tomorrow. We don't know. The there we go. Another bass, man. Can't get a crappie to save my life now. Three bass in a row or four in a row. Gosh, I'm actually not wanting these. But that's what happens when you fish for crappie, you get bass. When you try for bass, you get crappie. Seems to be the case with me. It's a 
a big bluegill again. Nice bluegill, man. That's the one like the size of the lake. It's like almost eight inches long. Big for a, for a creek, folks. That is a nice bluegill. He is bigger than my hand. What do you got, sunfish? Oh yeah. <laughs> Real large mouth, I think. Did you see it? He hit it as soon as it hit the water. It's a nice large mouth here, folks. Not a bad one. That's a real large mouth. This creek seems to have... No, it's a spotted bass. Hmm. Thought it was a large mouth. Oh, I gotta have the pliers. Darn. Calm down, calm down. Oh man, I got him really good. He came to the top and attacked it. And then I started reeling it in. He wasn't on there yet, and he bit it again. I cannot believe how much I hooked him. <clears throat> there we go. All right, folks, not a bad little spotted bass. Nice bass. I get my tail bit off. Oh my God. Copy. Oh my God. Folks, I just caught a nice crappie. He's about 13 inches. The weird thing is, look where my crankbait is, folks. My crankbait is in between his mouth and his fin. It makes me wonder if he, if I just got real lucky and snagged it, or if he actually bit it. Look at that, look where it is. The crankbait is in his kind of, it looks like maybe he, he tried to hit, attack it and then it just, maybe he turned his back and it went there instead. Boy, that's a beauty. Finally, I had something good go right. I was wondering why it was swimming so weird. I, I didn't, I thought I had a drum maybe for a second. Boy, that's a beautiful crappie right there. Oh yeah. I'll just take a picture from that when I get to the computer. Don't don't worry about that. Right before dark, man. I'm com coming with minnows. Yeah. I think there might be okay. just as big as ones. Well, more, more. Big as ones is in here as in the church, maybe. You never know.
Don't cover your face. Nice crappie, folks. Our biggest mm -hmm. one since spring. Okay. Right. Get him back in. Oh, I was just saying how they're not hitting the crankbaits, which they don't. You catch them better on smaller, smaller lures. That's a nice crappie, though, for a, for a stream. For a lake, it ain't nothing, but for a river, they, that's about as big as you'll get them. You want to put him in the cooler? Huh? Man, that's a beauty though, isn't it? Look at that. That's a nice crappie for a river, folks. He might almost be 14 inches. Man. What a beaut. That's what I'm talking about right there. There, now I'm not mad anymore. It made my day. Now Not a crappie, but not a bad bass. It's a large mouth. Ten inches. being way more stubborn than yesterday, that's all I can say. There we go. I don't know what it is, but I think it's a bass. Yep. Hey, it's a big one, though. I gotta give this one props. At least this one's decent. On a Bobby Garland. He's probably two pounds or more. Oh, he's about three and it broke my line. Good God. Eight pound line and it snapped it. And I got the drag set. I had it where he could pull it out. This is a deal with me, man. Finally got a slabber, guys. Exactly what I've been after, unless it's a drum. No, it is a crappie, and it's nice, yes. Finally, this is only my second crappie. I've been here for freaking three hours. Finally, what I've came after. It's just a matter of finding them, I guess. Caught him on a minnow and bobber. It's a decent guy, about nine and a half, ten inches.
Oh, I got a big bass, folks. Or it's a ginormous crappie. Oh, it's a bass, and it's big. Finally landed one that was decent without breaking my damn line. I tell you, I had the worst luck the last couple days. It's not a bad bass. It's a spotted bass, but it's decent. It's right before dark. I'm trying to catch a few more right before dark. 